What is transfer molding? Transfer molding is a process in which a pre-weighed amount of polymer is preheated in a separate chamber, transfer pot, and then forced into a preheated mold through a sprue, taking the shape of the mold cavity and performing curing due to heat and pressure applied to the polymer material. The process of transfer molding combines features of both compression molding, using hydraulic pressing, and injection molding, filling the mold through the sprue. But it's different from compression molding in that the mold is enclosed rather than open to the fill plunger. While injection molding uses heat to melt the material and then presses to make the casting, in transfer molding it uses only pressure to make the casting. The method is capable of producing more complicated shapes than compression molding but not as complicated as injection molding. How does transfer molding work? The correct quantity of polymer material mixed with additives is measured and put into the molding pot before the process begins. The pot is heated and the polymer softens. The plunger mounted in the top plate moved downwards, pressing on the polymer charge and forcing it to fill the mold cavity through the sprue. The mold equipped with a heating system provides curing, cross-linking of the polymer if thermosets are processed. The mold is open and the part is removed using the ejector pins. If thermoplastic is molded, the molded parts are cooled down before opening. Generally, thermosets such as epoxy, polyester, phenol, formaldehyde, vinyl ester and silicone are processed by transfer molding, but certain thermoplastics material can also be processed. Variety of processes within the transfer molding category. 1. Resin transfer molding. It is a closed mold process that uses a liquid thermoset resin to saturate a fiber preform placed in a closed mold. That is the resin encapsulates a preform, usually a foam core or glass mat that is positioned in the mold before the resin enters the mold. This method is sometimes referred to as liquid composite molding. The process is versatile and the parts produced are lightweight, yet have excellent strength characteristics. The mold allows for a good surface finish as well. 2. Vacuum Assisted Resin Transfer Molding This process uses a partial vacuum on one side of a fiber mat to pull the resin in for complete saturation. It uses a lower plunger force which allows molding to be carried out with cheaper equipment. This method can produce parts with less porosity than regular transfer molding. 3. Microtransfer Molding This method produces extremely small high-precision polymer parts and components with micron tolerance. It is a process of shaping pliable polymer materials using a micro-sized mold. The mold is filled with a pre-polymer, and then the whole assembly is transferred to a flat substrate where the pre-polymer is cross-linked and the mold is removed. The process parameters to consider in transfer molding include 1. Heating time 2. Melting temperature of the charge 3. Applied pressure 4. Cooling time Transfer molding applications it is used in the natural gas industry, electrical industry, hydraulic industry, wind turbine blades, medical composites, aerospace and automobile parts, car body, helmets, etc. Advantages of transfer molding. High production rate. Fast mold setup. Provides uniformity to products than in compression molding. Plastic parts with metal inserts can be processed. Disadvantages of transfer molding. Waste more material than compression molding. The production rate is slower than injection molding. 